Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain very very important question for the placement interviews and other competitive exams. Topic calendar. Calendar part 1 we have already completed. Today I will start calendar part 2. Let us see the question. So the question is what? The first question is what? The first question is if 1st Jan 2001 is Monday then which day was on 1st Jan 2013. This is very important tricky question. 1st Jan 2001 is Monday. Then which day was on 1st Jan 2013. So basic of the calendar we have already discussed in the part 1. So we are in this session we are just solving the question. So see the first question how can we find our correct answer. So first you see that is date is same 1st Jan here first day. So date and month is same. Only year is different. 2001 and year 2013. So we have to find number of odd days between 2001 to 2013. So first to find how many years. So this is number of this is number of years number of years between 2001 to 2013. How much year? That is 12 years, right? Now in 12 years, how many leap years and how many normal years? So we have already explained what is the leap year and what is the normal year. The year which is divisible by 4 is called the leap year and the year which is not leap year that is called normal year. So 2001 to 2013, total 12 years. In this 12 years, there is a 2004, 2008 and 2000. 12 that is 3 year is what that is leap year so in 12 years 3 leap years so this is 3 leap years right and plus how many remaining that is 3 leap years and then there is a 9 uh, normal years so 3 leap years we have only we need 3 leap years so in 12 years we have 3 leap years so number of days equal to what you know number of odd days so number of odd days so you know well that in number of odd days in normal year is how much one and number of odd days in leap year how much two so here three leap years and total total number of years is what 12 so we get three more so we have 12 plus 3 that is total number of odd days how much 15 because 12 years and there is a 3 leap year so we will exceed the 3 days so 12 plus 3 15 so this is the number of that is the number of odd days again you divide this 15 by 7 so this is again 15 divided by 7 so this is how much 7 2 to 14 2 and 1 by 7 so this one is the what number of odd days because in this 12 years 3 leap years so total odd days is 12 plus 3 that is 15 again this is greater than 7 so divide this number by 7 7 to the 14 2 and 1 by 7 finally odd number of days is what 1 so our question was he first Jan 2001 is Monday then which day was on first Jan 2013 so this is the number or days what one so one day will move so after monday what is the tuesday one day after monday so tuesday is our right answer so first is the correct answer so for this type of question simple technique is what it is jan 1st jan 2001 to 1st jan 2013 date is same and month is same so only you find the number of year gaps of number of year then find how many leap years and how many normal year so here leap year is what 33 so 3 to the 6 and their ordinary number is what 9 so 9 6 15 or you can say directly total year is 12 so 12 plus 3 leap year so 3 days more so 12 plus 3 15 now this is greater than 7 so divide this number by 7 7 2 is 14 2 and 1 by 7 now this one is the remainder that is called odd number of day so one here answer is monday so here question is what monday so our answer will be 
next day of monday that is one more monday so that is after monday what tuesday so our correct answer is tuesday now let us see the second question the second question is what which of the following is not a leap year so we have to check which of the following not a leap year so we have already explained the part one leap year means the year which is divisible by four is called leap year and when there is a century then any century which is divisible by 400 is a leap year so this is 2100 now we check 2100 is divisible by 400 or not when you will divide 2100 by 400 that is 2100 and divide by 400 this zero will cancel this is 21 by 4 not divisible by 4 so this is a this is not a leap year so question is which of the following not a leap year so 2100 is not a leap year which you can check this 1200 when you divide by 400 two zero cancel four three are 12 this is divisible by 400 so it is a leap year this is 1600 if you divide this number by 400 it is also divisible by 400 this is 2000 when you divide by 400 it will be divisible so the century which is not divisible by 400 is a leap year so our correct answer is what 2100 is not a leap year now see the third question what is the third question if jan 1 2006 was sunday what was the day of week jan 1 2010 again the question if jan 1 2006 was sunday what was the day of the week jan 1 2010 again same question like the first question because month is given same date is given same only there is a 2006 and they are 2010 so just check how many number of odd days between 2006 and 2010 so you will find that jan 1 2006 to 2010 so this is what this is 2007 so 2007 is what that is a normal year so number of odd days will be one in the same way this is 2008 this is what that is the leap year 2008 is divisible by 4 so leap year so number or days is what 2 again you see 2 2009 again normal year that is 1 and then 2010 this is what this is also a normal year because you know divided by 4 so this is also 1 now add this you will get 2 4 that is 5 so number of all days what 5 so our answer will be that is my day was what sunday so five days the uh, five is the number of all days so our answer will be sunday plus five days so just to count sunday after five days what monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so your correct answer is friday so a option is tuesday b saturday c thursday so our correct answer is what none of these because our answer is friday so this question was just like the first question jan 1 2006 was sunday then what was the day of the week jan 1 2010 so this is jan 1 here jan 1 here only 2006 2010 so just find the number of all days between 2006 to 2010 so 2006 to 2007 there is a one year so 2007 one now is a leap not a leap year normal year so number all day one 2008 is a leap year so number all days is two and 2009 normal year number all days one 2010 normal year number all days one we have already explained in the part number one yeah, how can we find number of all days in the leap year and normal year okay so total number of all days what five so our answer will be given day after five days so that is the sunday after five sunday plus five is what day then you will find it friday so that is friday is the right answer now you check uh question number four so this is the question for today is sunday what day of the week was 79 days back today is the sunday then what day of the week was 79 days back so 
क्वेश्चन इज वॉट की टूडे संडे इज वॉट योर वीक वॉज सेवेंटी नाइन डेज बैक सो जस्ट फाइंड अगेन द नंबर ऑफ डे सो दिस इज वॉट सेवेंटी नाइन बाई सेवन So when you divide this seventy nine by seven, seven one zero seven, seven one zero seven, and that is two. So that is two by seven. So this is the two is the what number of all days. So our answer will be two days back. So this is what Sunday. So um, Sunday back one day, Saturday and then Friday. Again our answer will be what Friday. So this is the correct answer. So when today the Sunday, what your week was seventy nine days back. When we are going to back, then number of days will be subtracted. Okay, that will go back. So here Sunday, and we have two odd days. So two days back from uh, Sunday. So Sunday two days back, Saturday and then Friday. So our correct answer is Friday. So in this way we have solved all the four questions of the part two. And in the part three again we are going for different different question. Then we will go for the different type of the question of the calendar in part number. Thank you.